Thomas. Thomas, Dom. Thomas, it's me. Max? Holy shit. Uh, ho hold on, hold on, hold on. Thomas? Is your father here? Is your father here? Thomas? No. How's Iceland? Cold. I'm coming home. Can you pick me up at JFK? Yeah. Four yeah. o'clock? Sure. Is that yeah, Max, yeah. Max Berlina? Yes. Thomas? Yes. yes. Can I bring my uh, assistant Jamal? You're his hero. Fine. Just don't be late. Hey, Max! Sorry, we ran out of gas. You absent-minded professor, when are you gonna f***ing grow up, huh? <laughs> wow, Max, you changed. This is Dr. Jamal Weber, my new research assistant from Dr. MIT. Dr. Bowmaner, it's an honor to meet you. You remind me so much of your father. I'm not him. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Five minutes. Go. You didn't go. All right, all right. You had to go making movies without Quentin Tarantino, Mira Sorvino. You're so stupid. That's a quick one. I just think it's a little, you know. It's like you try to be this close to what Quentin Tarantino does, and if you go any higher, you're like the same level, and that's no good. But if you could stay here, then you're always looking up at Quentin Tarantino and you say, I know I could be that good. I, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying that, like, I don't know, give me, give me a color that you feel like your character is. Just black. What, which color? Give me your color. Moth. Oh, Kimmy, is that what you're wearing tonight? I was planning to. Why? I was just thinking you might wear the Armani. Honey, that's a cocktail dress. Don't you think it's a little inappropriate? Well, we haven't seen these guys in years. I mean, don't you want to look good? Besides, we did invite them to a cocktail party. <laughs> okay, I'll put it on. You're not mad at me, are you? Snow with a chance of tornadoes. Snow with a chance of tornadoes, huh? Would you please look outside? There is not a cloud out there. You can see the moon. There are no tornadoes. Look into my reflection. What do you see? What am I doing? You're a freaking toaster! <laughs> you! That! Damn it! That's why you've invited me to lunch. Your ulterior motives are quite apparent. Well, we're all just anxious to get this thing done and printed. You give us the final draft, and we'll have it on the bookshelves in a week. I've been working on this for eight years. Why are you harassing me now? All we're saying, we're not harassing you, Wynn. We're just trying to get a picture on when this thing is going to be finished. That's all.